Hey everyone, welcome back to round two of Dr. Mario. We're kicking things off on level 16. And to keep it fresh, we're switching to a different music track this time. It's Chill, my personal favorite. Ah, uh, oh well. I guess we need the variety. It's the spice of life. Indeed. So, uh, let's keep the conversation going. Oh, uh, last year Roger made an observation about the color of the gray pills and the gray viruses. I sure did. D did I? I don't remember. It's <laughs> yes, been a year. Yes, it's did. been a long time. Okay, well, to refresh your memory, uh, you observe that the color of the uh, gray pills is actually slightly different than the gray viruses. And he's absolutely right. The viruses are colored black and white, while the megavitamins are colored gray and white. It's even more obvious with this blue color palette, since the gray megavitamins actually change colors when they settle. <laughs> It's one of those weird little details about the Game Boy Color palette. With some color schemes, you can tell which sprites are active by looking at their color. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I can almost use it to cheat sometimes. Precisely. Uh, I could even think of an example in uh, the first dungeon of Super Mario Land. There are these uh, bricks that fall in that level, and uh, with certain color palettes, uh, you could actually see which ones they are, because they'll be blatantly colored differently. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Ah, uh, cheating. Another <laughs> spice of life. Sure anyway, just spice. thought I'd point that out. Ah, <laughs> oh, good point. Always great about the old technology. Anyway, uh, I was thinking, last time you brought up the CGI, CGI of Zelda, right? I said it was a Dutch uh, game. Uh, yes, I just yes, checked did. into it. That was wrong. I mean, the, the hardware, the, the Philips CDI itself is Dutch, but uh, the software is made by an American-Russian team. So I lied last time. Well, I didn't lie. You were mistaken. Speaking. There's a difference. Exactly. It wasn't malicious. So yeah, just uh, better uh, clear that up. Although I'm sure a lot of people in the comments said it last time. Well, I guess we'll see, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends on how many people do research and know their uh, Zelda CDI lore. Right. And uh, you were half right anyway, so... Fair enough, fair enough. Another one bites the dust. I'm really cleaning up here. Ooh, ten viruses la- Nine? Oh my. Almost another level done. Yeah, uh, soon enough we'll be reaching level 19. Oh, yeah, that one I didn't even bother right trying now. last year. Yeah. Ooh, that one's a challenge. Indeed. It's a simple game, but uh, they have to keep it challenging to keep you going. Yeah, they give you very little space in those later levels, and uh, things get fast very quick. It's very claustrophobic. Well, at least in this game, they don't throw rocks at you like in the other PUPU games. That's really claustrophobic. That does happen in multiplayer. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. Did, this Game Boy game has a multiplayer game? Uh, yes, it has a multiplayer mode. Uh, you need a link cable to do it, but uh, yeah, it did have that. It's That's pretty not... much the same as Dr. Mario 64, to bring that up again. Uh... You know, in that game you had a single-player mode with computer opponents, but uh, the multiplayer mode in this uh, game is very similar. Wow. So if you pull I... off combos, you actually uh, jump... I'm sorry, you actually dump junk blocks onto your opponent. Nice. I didn't know the original Game Boy had, like, a connection cable. I thought it was a Game Boy Advance thing. It had it. I think I even have one somewhere. I'll have to check. It's kind of interesting how even those old devices, as simple as they may be, have very a lot of weird extra gimmicks. I remember the Game Gear having like a system to connect to the television, or even play television on your Game Gear. That's a weird thought. Huh. I don't know why you'd want to. I mean, if the TV is in the room, why would you want to watch your TV show on a smaller screen? That's so bizarre. Eh, kids like their gimmicks, I guess. Hey, if you have the option. <laughs> But yeah, I never had that. I did have like a magnifying glass for my game gear. <laughs> so you can see all the pixels even better. Yeah, uh, we had a light for our Game Boy. I, I still have it, actually. It's this big clunky thing you attach to it, but uh, it helps you see. Oh, 
Level done. Nice. But yeah, you need those with the Game Boy. No backlighting. The Game Gear does have those. <laughs> Sega wins again. Except it didn't sell, so Nintendo still won. Never mind. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. Exactly. Well, now Nintendo's doing a lot more than Sega does, so... <laughs> the phrase didn't age well. Yeah. Oh, well. Nintendo's still in the hardware market. Sega hasn't been in that in years. Well, they did have those Game Gear Minis in Japan. I wanted to have one, but I never got an opportunity. Really? They made something like that? I had no idea. Well, it was really a bad deal. There was only like four games on it. Oh. And only one that doesn't Sonic compare games. to the uh, ones that Nintendo put out. No, nope, it was very expensive. It was really just for an anniversary little gimmick. It wasn't supposed to be like an actual, uh, like a Nintendo Mini. Hmm. Although I would have bought one if I had one anyway. Nostalgia. It makes you buy stupid things. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes, yeah. Man, can you really even strategize when it's so chaotic on screen? I mean, there's so much <laughs> stuff going on. I would just panic at this point. Yeah, you really have to think fast uh, in these later levels. And this is only 17. They get worse. <laughs> yeah, man, really. I, I can't even imagine having any kind of strategy. I would just be freaking out all the time. Like, ah! Something explode, please! Of course, it helps you only have three different... Uh, Vitamin cells. Uh, anyway, four, yeah. There's four different ones. Never mind. Hmm. Even more than four, never mind. So much stuff on the screen. There we go. Finally, some space. Yep. Looking better. Making progress. Finally some elbow room. Oh, I uh, have a little bit of an update. Going a bit off topic here, but I don't mind since it's something I spoke about last year. Sure. So, uh, you remember when I mentioned a channel that spoke about the Kodansha Mario manga? Uh-huh, yeah. That channel is still around, of course, but he changed his name. Copyright reasons or something, all right. No, it wasn't about copyright, but, uh, the channel that I mentioned last year was called Gaijillionaire, and I think he just calls his channel GTV nowadays. Easier to remember. Yeah, it's GTV Japan. So if you want to check out his content, he's still around, he's still making videos. The link that I put in the video last year should still work, but I'll put an updated link in the description anyway. Alright. Good to know. But yeah, always uh, confusing about the internet when things change their names. It's always fun when people talk to me on the email and then they send me like a message on a different uh, messenger and then they have a completely different name. And they <laughs> still act like I'm supposed to know who who's who. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know who you are if you constantly change your username. <laughs> ah, good times with the internet. Yep. Everyone has a different screen name. Their own online persona. You can never tell who's who. <laughs> exactly. Although you use the keep combo. Name. Nice. Oh, that should be the new Dr. Mario. Like a computer. Uh, I'm fighting computer viruses. Virtual Dr. Mario. Hmm. Interesting thought. Oh, techno. Virtual reality Dr. Mario. Yeah, what would he be throwing into the computer? Like antivirus programs, like uh, pills? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Here, have a dose of Norton. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Although sometimes I wonder if antivirus programs are more bothersome than the actual viruses they fight. A necessary inconvenience, like a flu shot. That's true. Although at least uh, what a flu shot is over and done with. And it's a lot cheaper. Unless you have a problem with your health insurance, then they can get expensive. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, thank goodness it's uh, a lot less bothersome here in Europe. It's a lot cheaper here. I'm kind of always surprised to learn how expensive it is in America. Hmm, lucky you. 
much yep. cheaper medicine. Speaking of medicine, uh, you were telling me about Dr. Mario mods last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mods of Super Mario World specifically. Yes, I love it. I assume you were talking about uh, Dr. Mario World House Calls by Link2006? I think so. Wow, you remember better than I do, as usual. Well, uh, I, I did a little research on it uh, in preparation for our Let's Play this year. So <laughs> that's why my memory is so fresh. You're doing your homework, and like me, there's yep. a good schoolboy. So, did you enjoy it? Well, I, I didn't actually play it, I just looked up videos of it. I mean, it, it was interesting. An uh, interesting concept, but uh, it looked to me like it was a bit of a victim of its own ambition. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <clears throat> it's gonna be more an idea mod than really an execution mod, that's true. Right. I mean, some of the environments just didn't look that attractive at all, uh, specifically the uh, innard levels. I mean, I get yep. that they're supposed to look grotesque, but uh, the color palette they chose is just... Ugh. I always hate inner levels. Oh, man, level 18 already. <laughs> the nightmare begins. Yep. We're almost yeah, there, back... folks. Almost there, indeed. But yeah, I always hate inner levels in video games. I mean, in concept, it's fun, but yeah, it always looks disgusting. Or very weird. Kingdom Hearts, for example, Monstro, like some oh, areas. Are... Yes, from Pinocchio, exactly. Like you got swallowed by the big whale, and some areas are kind of fun, like the the mouth area where you see the big teeth and all that. But the rest of the level is like extremely abstract. Just a bunch of weird colors and weird shapes and pulsating things. It's, uh, <laughs> it doesn't make me very happy. Mm. Yeah, it's a challenge to get it right. Uh, again, I think uh, Bowser's Inside Story did a good job at it. The, uh, that was a the yeah. uh, environments, they were very otherworldly and weird, but the color palettes weren't unattractive. That's true. It's, <clears throat> uh, and those great strength, I suppose. But yeah, all the inner locations were also in 2D as opposed to the rest of the game, so it also gave it a strange alien feel to it. Right, I remember that. All the platform areas. Maybe that helps that it's more like an action game instead of like a full-blown exploration RPG. As much as it could be with the Mario and Luigi formula. Of course, of course. Yeah, anyway, love... uh, yeah. as as for the mod, yeah, I, I didn't like the uh, color palettes for not only the inner locations, but also some of the outside locations. I mean, the backgrounds looked nice, but... Uh, it looked to me like the modder didn't really respect the uh, palette limitations, so certain things would be colored weird. Oh, and another thing that uh, struck me as odd, um, they used the names of the Koopalings from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't even notice. Yeah, they did. The Rockstar names, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, like Kooky Von Koopa and Cootie Pie Koopa and... I can't remember the names of the others. I never watched much of the Super Show. I did when I was very small. I barely remember. But yeah, always fun. I always have to change the names and localizations. <laughs> Those translators always know best. Or so they think. <laughs> yeah, precisely. And since we're talking about video game adaptations, I should mention that, yes, I finally did see the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Nice. It's about time, huh? Yes, of course. Well, of course. It's, it's the last movie of last year, pretty much. The last big movie. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Actually, uh, let me ask you. Uh, what did you think of Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik? Uh, he wasn't really Robotnik. He was just Jim Carrey. He was just doing his uh, Ace Ventura stuff. I mean, because I'm really tired of video game Eggman, because he's really boring and tiresome lately, I didn't really mind, because at least this is a more energetic take. But, yeah, he doesn't really feel like a proper Dr. Eggman to me at all. He's just Jim Carrey being silly. I mean, he's <laughs> fun to watch, but it's a different character, basically. Right. I suppose it being an origin story, they kind of get away with it because, you know, in the movie, Dr. Eggman, as we know him, is born. So I suppose they could get away with it. But yeah, next movie, it's going to be uh, 
more serious in that case. Like, are we gonna get the proper Dr. Ackman, a proper Robotnik? Or is just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey? Yeah. And I, I share the same opinion. It was just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey, instead of being Dr. Robotnik. Yep. But maybe I just feel that way because I'm not really a big fan of Jim Carrey. Yeah, then, then you have a big problem. Yeah, I guess it's something you have to see as a child. I mean, it's kind of like uh, Ernest Roll, also like the kids love it when you see it, but adults have a hard time getting into it because all the energy and all that weirdness. Different time, I guess. Yeah, I suppose you really have to have a taste for it. Or Jerry C. Lewis or something Oh like yeah, that. Jerry Lewis. <laughs> also that kind of comedian. <laughs> where you have to like his energy, otherwise it's just a nightmare to go right. through. Those who love him really love him, and those who don't love him really don't love him. <laughs> oh well, that's better than uh, that everyone's just bored by him, I guess. Anyway, I... uh, back to the game, which looks like uh, this level's almost over. Yeah, those viruses are panicking, and with good reason. Just two white ones left. And they're out of here. Wow, that was a lot Ooh. of uh, that was a lot of stuff cleared on that final line. That was Ooh. an epic last move. Nice. I'm proud of that one. An explosive ending. Sweet. Yep. 